What's going on everyone and welcome back to another high quality foodie feature for you here on the channel where this time I'm back on over at the Habit Burger Grill to see if they've truly done the impossible with their all new promo. That's right, I'm checking out their all new impossible bistro burger. So stay tuned because it's up next. Welcome to Peep This Out Reviews with Ian K. Stay frosty. So here we go with the Impossible Bistro Burger here at The Habit. And while I'm definitely digging the shininess of that toasted sweet brioche bun, let's just say I wish it was just a little bit fluffier. I mean, just looking at this, it does appear to be a little on the flat side. But hey, it is what it is. Let's just pop it and take a look underneath. Well, it looks like we've got some grilled onions, admittedly a little on the light side, along with a melted slice of aged white cheddar cheese. And that's actually all sitting on top of the Impossible Burger Patty itself, guys. Featuring a combination of soy protein concentrate and potato protein, this is definitely some plant-based goodness from Impossible, and it looks pretty tasty with those grill marks. Underneath it, it looks like we've got a medium slice of tomato and some leaf lettuce, along with some of their tangy secret sauce. And it looks like a little pickle or two is peeking out there on the side. But even still, guys, it looks pretty flavorful because of the sauce alone and the fact that this is featuring the Impossible Burger Patty. I'm expecting a lot from this one. And considering the patty itself does look pretty sizable, it pretty much covers this whole bun. I have a feeling this is going to be pretty tasty. So let's not waste any more time on this one. This is the all-new Impossible Bistro Burger here at the Habit Burger Grill. Let's peep out this flavor. Yeah, I can definitely tell that tomato slice was just a little too thick for me, so obviously it is 86 going forward from this point. But as you guys can see, the Impossible Burger looks pretty solid right there in the middle, guys. You'd be hard-pressed to tell me this didn't look like beef. And with the aged cheddar and the caramelized onions, I have a feeling this is going to be pretty tasty, along with that pickle action on top of it, and supposedly this tangy secret sauce. This should be pretty good. All right, so let me see if I can confirm the goodness for you on this one right now. And let me just say, side note, I'm glad we've got a burger diaper in effect here. Even though it seems like it's been wrapped a little too tight because the bun is a little on the flat side, I'm thankful for it considering the amount of sauce on this right now. Here we go. It's the Impossible Bistro Burger here at The Habit. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Tangy sweet with some simulated beef flavor. That was actually pretty tasty, along with the acidity and the snap and the crunch from that pickle in that one as well, guys. That was pretty tasty. I have to admit, it feels kind of hearty as I'm biting into it. So the beef aspect of it is definitely simulated well. And of course, the flavor is definitely on point so far. But the sweetness of that tangy sauce, it's pretty banging. Let's keep going in. Mmm. You know, I gotta say, it's been a minute since I've had the Impossible brand, but as you can see, this looks just like meat, guys. It looks really, really good. The beefiness is definitely standing out. The color looks pretty good as well. It looks like a beef patty that it was pretty much grilled to perfection, I gotta say, guys. The quality is very nice on this. The combination of the grilled onions is good, although I do wish there was some more on there. But even still, everything else so far is amazing. Along with the pickles, that crunch is adding to this one on top of the sweetness of that tangy sauce. Pretty good. Well, as I just mentioned, one of the main things I really wish this had more of was the grilled onions, because I got to admit, guys, the aged white cheddar is a mild type of flavor, but the grilled onions is so much more flavorful on top of it. I can only imagine if there was actually more added to this, this would have been even that much more. But even still, the quality of the Impossible Beef Patty is pretty good. And I'm saying it's a beef patty because it really does taste like one. My mind is freaking out right now because it really does simulate it very nicely. Let's keep going in, guys. It's really good. Wow. Let me try and go a little closer for you guys because you know I'm all about the details with these things. And as you guys can see again, the quality of that Impossible Beef Patty is pretty awesome. I'm going to keep calling it that because that's exactly what it tastes like to me. Really, really nice in terms of the quality. And again, it looks like it is cooked all the way through very nicely. Really, really nicely done on this so far. Yeah, you can never get enough money shots of a tasty burger up close, guys. And again, this one is simulating it pretty nicely. I can only imagine this is a double, believe it or not, because this has the feeling of their regular char burgers just in plant-based form. And considering it's based upon a soy protein concentrate, along with potato protein and a few other things, that's actually a very cool thing. So it's distinctly different from the competition. Guys, I have to admit again, the flavor and the robustness of the beefiness is really coming out pretty nicely with this. The tangy sauce, I got to admit, not so much tangy as it is sweet, but it really is kind of reminding me of like a Thousand Island type of situation. But even still, again, I wish I had more of the grilled onions. Those are really the wild card with this one on top of the pickles. But guys, super delicious. All right, so let's go for one more bite on this one before we close it up after the rating coming up. But I think you get the point. This is a very nice doppelganger type of situation over here at The Habit, naturally simulating what they do very well with the charred edges around their burgers in general, but with impossible meat. And I got to say, guys, it really does work pretty nicely. Again, very, very nice quality all across the board and a very, very nice flavor overall. Let's hit it one more time. Let's do it. All right, so again, let me just say I'm very thankful for that burger diaper as I'm further into this review right now because things are nice and moist in the back here, guys. So it was a good call on the habit to actually wrap it this way, although I do think it was wrapped just a little too tight because as you can see, this bun is pretty flat on the top there. But still, the quality is pretty good. 
Everything else here is delivering. The grilled onions, what little I do have of them, are really adding to this overall, and the quality of the impossible meat is definitely well done. Just a very nice alternative to try over here at The Habit. Pretty tasty. So getting right to it, I'm gonna have to give this all new Impossible Bistro Burger here at the Habit Burger Grill a rock solid nine out of 10. Guys, like I said, the flavor really delivered on this. If only there was some more grilled onions on this burger and maybe the fluffiness of the bun was better, I think it would have been even that much more. But even still, what was there was delicious. The size of the Impossible patty itself covered the whole bun as well. And every bite felt like you were biting into a very tasty burger. It was just done very nicely. And again, the tanginess of that sauce, more sweet than anything. But guys, the crunch of the pickles with it Definitely primo, nice quality overall. All right, so I gotta ask you now, if you're a fan of plant-based meat, how excited are you to give this one a shot if you've got habit in the area? I mean, is this one on your radar right now? Are you a fan of these types of things? Drop some comments down below. Let me know if you're gonna give this one a shot. And if you do, definitely let me know how close you thought it was to actual meat, because like I said, guys, this really delivered for me right now. It was pretty authentic in my opinion. Drop those comments down below and definitely let me know. And with that, this is Ian K closing out another high quality foodie feature for you here on Peep This Out Reviews, bringing you brand new content every single week here on my channel. So I stay tuned for the next review coming real soon. In the meantime, stay frosty. Good stuff with this one habit, good stuff. Now for the next version, we definitely need something with barbecue sauce and bacon. Just saying. All right guys, until next time, I'll talk to you soon. Hey, thanks for checking out another one of my reviews. But just in case you didn't see the one before this one, you can find it right up over here, along with what I think YouTube's gonna recommend for you to check out as well. As always, I think you'll find something to like in both of them, and I'll definitely catch you in the next one. See ya.